Welcome back. I'm just starting with our first segment of today. Well, President of Fatih Sisi paid tribute on Tuesday to workers in the health sector who were martyred on the jobs and also to those who are still preserving and sacrificing their souls for the sake of this mission to protect Egyptians against the pandemic. Talking about the health care in Egypt and the medical insurance, which is, of course, of vital importance. Over the phone, uh, we have with us uh, Mrs. Rania Leila, human development and behavioral sciences expert. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning so, to you. Uh, talking, of course, so when, whenever it comes about uh, production or leadership, we have to provide better, better environment for workers and employees. And we have, for example, if we are taking uh, Ismail Leia as an example, and the inauguration of the uh, medical uh, complex uh, over there, inaugurated by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, and talking about the medical insurance, which is going to extend to uh, three more governorates. Tell me how uh, important it is. And and its impact on the production and on the uh, employees in general when it comes to human resources? Okay, of course, these kind of achievements and the progress, it's, it's really important and critical in, in, in the country. And it, um, it improves the way of people that sense the achievements. But in the same exact time, we have like many challenges, or the country has uh, many challenges and difficulties when it comes to the awareness of the people themselves, you know. And these challenges and these difficulties may hinder the progress of the country in general because that people may sense that we don't sense, we don't feel, we don't get benefit from all these achievements and progress in the country. And when it comes to the challenges and the difficulties that people may face, number one, the population growth, you know, and this problem, it's very critical, and the president, Abdel Fattah sisi talked about it several times, especially in the, in the opening of Ismailia complex and uh, some health sectors, that it makes, like, p people feel that they don't sense the achievements, they don't sense the, the improvements in their country, that's why they may get against it, because they don't feel this thing. And... That's why we need to increase their awareness, increase their, um, yes, increase their awareness, and every one of us take his rule to, to make them feel this thing and to talk to our children about it, how to, to improve this thing. And when it comes to the employees in, in general, as you said, you just said employees, right? Yes, employees. Yeah, uh, we, we need just to increase their awareness as, uh, as, as well to to sense these challenges and to face these challenges, these difficulties, by maybe by making or launching more initiatives to to this thing. And yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, talking about uh, human resources, well, definitely uh, now we have seen how um, Egypt is exerting the utmost effort to provide better um, health insurance, medical uh, care, and also education. And definitely these are the two elements of building any uh, country, uh, if you agree with me. Yes, of course. Yes, these are the two important things. But when it comes to the challenges and the difficulties we may face, this will hinder this improvement of these two sectors. Because I just mentioned that people don't sense. Maybe I am a, as, a, as a citizen in this country and put all my money in this country, and I can't sense any improvement or achievement because I have so many children. And I can't, uh, like, educate them. I can't feed them. I can't maybe make them um, good individuals you know, all these challenges. That's why we need to increase, increase the awareness, increase their, uh, increase their, uh, yes, increase their awareness and launch more initiatives to tell them exactly that if you need to, or if, you, if you want to sense all these achievements or, or if you need to go forward and improve yourself, improve your way of, uh, of living and improve the life of your children, you need to work more and more on your on yourself or work more on how to build a good community, good family, that educate them, feed them, and this will be by 
like family planning or increase your family planning uh, culture. This is the thing. So, uh, as well as we are talking about uh, awareness of people in many challenges that we are facing, as you mentioned, we have seen uh, that women also have been taken care of, uh, especially when it comes to um, health uh, initiatives that uh, are taking place right now. And also, uh, whenever we talk about the family, we have to talk about the woman, the mother, because I believe that... If you are uh, just able to reach and access the women and uh, their mentality and how uh, we are talking about health, education, and all what you are talking about, this is going to be one of the most important steps to reach the, the whole society. Yes, of course. You know, women are the pillars of this community, are the pillars of the country. And the president of Fatah um, al you know, has done many things towards women and to empower women and to be a huge part of this uh, community, of this country. And when it comes to uh, political issues, she just, he, yes, he has many things, or he has done many initiatives to empower women. But when it comes to economic, yes, women are facing many challenges when it comes, yes, to build their families, because if they have many children, they can hinder their growth as well. They, they can take uh, maybe proper opportunities because of their inner challenge. You know this saying that everyone has his own battles to fight. So maybe the country or the, the present, you know, is, is making great, great achievements and great progress. But when it comes to small families and the women in their yard, facing many difficulties as well. So when in, we increase the awareness of these women and make more plans for her or planning for, um, for their growth as well and increasing their awareness when it comes to how many children, how many kids do you should have to, to protect them, to feed them, to educate them, to, to make them a very good individuals that can, that can help the country to move forward, you know, so we can do lots of things as, uh, as, you know, as individuals to increase this awareness of these women. Maybe I have a rule, I have some responsibility over my shoulders to talk about, the, to talk to the women in my community and you as well, and everyone of this country has his rule, has his responsibility to talk, to talk or discuss things, or even to raise our children, the new generation, because the new generation is the most important thing right now. Because when, we, when I raise my girl to take care of herself, to be educated, to have this culture, to have this great background about the country and the growth of the country, and if you want to move and be part of this growth, you need to work more in yourself to increase your awareness about the population growth, about your education, and how important you have to be in, as a part, as a, an individual or good individual in this country. Well, uh, of course, uh, this is of great importance, but also we have to talk about the role of the civil society because definitely we cannot just ask the government to do everything. This can never be uh, done. So. Everyone has a role to play, to be uh, active, uh, to have his active role in the society. So what about the civil organizations or the civil society and how can they help in this when it comes to the overpopulation and the awareness of people and reaching how to access people that still media cannot reach in different places? Okay, first of all, yes, uh, I mentioned before that it's not about just the responsibility of the government. It's a the responsibility of all of us, the cyber society organizations, the intellectuals, media personalities, and the religious clerics. We all must work hard to, to face the, the problems or all these challenges. And when it comes to media, I recall when I was young, these kinds of advertisements that increase the awareness of the people and how they should plan their families more than that. And Maybe this is a huge reason that's why maybe I'm raising my kids on the same thing and so many other people. And when it comes to the rule of the 
civil society organizations, yes, they, of course, they have a great responsibility as well as a part of this community. They can launch some initiatives and some launch some programs to reach people, especially in urban and rural areas, because people out there need to know, need to be cultured, need to be educated about this thing and about the consequences of this danger or this problem as well because we can maybe now we, we some or we have some problem we can work on them right now maybe if some families have more than three or four or five kids we can do anything to them but we can increase their awareness that they should raise their children to not to do this in in the future or to think in a totally different way well, health insurance has always been a dream to all Egyptians, and the, the dream uh, came true. And we started to see this in some governorates. rates. And um, when we have seen uh, people of Ismailia and how they were really very happy with the new medical complex that was inaugurated, serving the people of Ismailia and uh, the health insurance to extend to three more governorates. rates. How do you see the impact of this uh, on the, uh, people's behavior? And and also on their, um, let's say, uh, motivation when it comes to more to production in general. People now sense that there are some kinds of achievements on the ground, and that, and they just see now that we can be heard. People, or the government or the president hear us. He can listen to our requirements. He can listen to our voice. He can listen to our demands. And this is a very great thing and has a great and a huge impact on their behaviors as well because this increased that sense of loyalty towards the country. Now I can be heard. Everything I can say, I can be heard. And people will, or the president or the government will hear me, will work for me, will work for my interests and for my interests of families as well. And this, yes, has a very great, huge, positive impact on, on people and their behaviors because now... I, it, it increases the sense of patriotism, you know, it increases the, the, the power in you to work for your country more than ever before. Maybe in the past we, 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 we felt that we don't hear or nobody hear us even if we say anything or we want to work for our country but no one, no one gets to care, no one cares about us. But of course in, it's a totally different situation. In, Currently, it's a totally different situation because now we sense even if are in a very, very you know, like distant or in a very, yes, far from the, 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 from the capital or something, but the president, the government is thinking about us and it's working, or the government works for our interests and they can do many, many things for, for our sake. You know, during such um, a challenging uh, period of time and by talking to many people on the ground, you know, just one can say that nothing can be compared or compensate the feelings of an Egyptian citizen who cannot provide medical treatment for his child, for his daughter, or just being on a waiting list for having an operation, or traveling from one governorate to the other to come to Cairo for uh, seeking medical treatment. So by providing this, definitely this, you know, it's something that one can never find some words to express uh, the idea itself and how people feel uh, about having their own. Uh, this is a basic need. This is um, one of the main pillars of human rights. Yeah, yes, you're right. You know, this thing that I can feel you, I can know your or I know your challenges. I know what you're thinking of. I know your difficulties. And now I will come at your place, your own place, and I will do whatever you want. This sense or this thing, when I feel it deep inside, for, it comes from my country, my government, and my president. It just increases my patriotism and increase my positive sense towards my country as well. Because now I, I feel that I'm strong enough. I feel that all my, all my challenges are going to be fed away. All my problems can be solved or will be solved very soon. And yes, it, it, it's a great thing. It's a great thing in this era in Egypt. 
So how do you see uh, now, nowadays um, the awareness uh, of Egyptians in general and um, the workers in particular who are really dedicated to work in such uh, a challenging time and being able to, um, to protect themselves and uh, never to be stopped? I mean, the capabilities of the Egyptians now, everyone is talking about it worldwide. No one can deny that we are facing very challenging situations with some to the coronavirus and and I guess it's not about Egypt, so it's about the whole world. But we need to work more and more and it will be hand in hand. Hand in hand with ourselves as citizens, hand in hand with our communities, hand in hand with our government and the president as well. Because all these difficulties and challenges are all around the world and when it comes to Egypt, Yes, we have this aware that Egypt now it's different, totally different from the past. So now it's, it has, or there are some achievements, there are some progress on the ground. We sense this. And to face all the other problems when it comes to the whole world or when it comes to the pandemic, we need to work hand in hand. I guess people just are doing this right now. Yes, of course, there are some sectors or not some segments of people are still not very aware of this, but the civil societies and we are as intellectuals, we are as individuals, can reach each other and can talk things to each other and can increase the awareness of each other. And of course, raising, we can't forget that we, we raise our children to, to, to be better individuals in the future. I also believe that including uh, the youth to participate in uh, this important, I will say, let's put it as a project, uh, to, because this is definitely the goal of all Egyptians, will help a lot. I'm talking about the youth who can uh, reach people and talk to different people in different areas as well, because when they themselves feel um, the problem and they understand that they are the fathers and mothers of the future as well. Yes, yeah. Yes, we need to raise our children to be good mothers and good fathers in the future and to increase their awareness that it's your country. Your country, you need to work for yourself, you need to work for your family, for your community, and then for your country. And, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Ronia Leila, a human development and behavioral sciences expert, thank you very much for joining us. Right on the Walk of Egypt's People is a project changing the face of Cairo. It is uh, Egypt's new images paving the way for a modern country under the 2030 Sustainable Development Project. And we have more details in the following report.